Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. The U.S. has a slew of evidence about this chemical attack, including intercepted conversations between Syrian commanders. The U.S. and its allies have had massive surveillance operations aimed at Syria since the conflict began, focusing especially on its chemical weapons stockpiles, which contains hundreds of tons of mustard and sarin gas. Satellites and intercepts have been monitoring whatever possible. ABC News has learned that part of the intelligence the U.S. has gathered in the apparent chemical attack of August 21st came from just such an intercept, one with a Syrian commander. Foreign policy reports that one panicked call was between an official at the Syrian Ministry of Defense and the leader of a chemical weapons unit. This evidence, coupled with the horrific images, interviews with survivors, and the doctors who treated them, is what has convinced U.S. officials at the highest levels that there is no doubt the attack, which likely killed upwards of 1,000 people, was carried out by the Syrian regime. The president believes, and I believe, that those who use chemical weapons against defenseless men, women, and children should and must be held accountable. The warships remain in place, cruise missiles at the ready, the U.S. military just waiting for the go-ahead, which could come at any time. But if the order comes, you're ready to go like that? We are ready to go like that. U.N. inspectors do remain on the ground right now, and George, the U.S. would want them out of there before they struck Syria. Okay, Martha Raddus, thanks very much. Of course, as she said, this could come at any time. Mm -hmm. What we're waiting for from the White House is the final intelligence report to come out, and when there's a strike, of course, we'll hear from the president Important as well. Important, because in the aftermath of the Iraq attack, mm -hmm. there was a big discrepancy on chemical weapons.